All right, guys, this is the disclaimer for the Ampeg SGT video. <laughs> I, this is not a quick demo run through review where I go, oh, yeah, oh, this sounds great, this sounds great, and I've altered it or anything. I am exploring this pedal's DI for the first time. This show, just showed up today. I plugged it in and played with it on my amp first, and now I just plugged it in. So, that being said, uh, this video is like 30 minutes, right? And it's not just quick to the point. I'm exploring this pedal. So you can jump around, watch it, whatever, dude. Um, enjoy. All right, guys. This is the DI video of the Ampeg SGT. So I'm going to start off flat, and then I'm just going to kind of go through it. And then I'll do... Uh, I do like a real test, but first I just want to kind of run through this thing. All right, so I've got this thing uh, flat. I've got the cab sim off, right? Yes. Yeah, cab sim off. Uh, everything's flat. Um, I have the compressor slightly on, but I have to hit it like really hard for it to actually come on. Um, SGT is off, okay? SGT is off. Um, I'll put the level up so when I kick it on, you can hear that. And um, my mid frequency is at 800 um, right now. I'll just kind of, in fact, I'll sweep that around while I go. It. So anyways, yeah, here we go, dude. All right. All right, let's do it. So this is flat. mid frequency let's um let's cut i wish i had somebody to turn this thing for me and i'll sweep this up halfway i'll go halfway e i'll go halfway each point so because I'm going to set it up the way I like it. All right, here's treble. Let's cut. Sounds like a tone knob to me. All right, so all the way boosted gives you a little noise. That's normal with most uh, amps and preamps anyway. Yeah, so you back it off to uh, about three quarters and that noise just goes away. All right, now let's get you how I like you. 
and kick the ultra low. All right, so I'll just uh, run through this flat first and then I'll set it up. And bass off. Treble up. Ooh, that's some noise. Again. Yeah, that's just electricity, dude. <laughs> it's just the way it is. So, anyways, uh, I'm gonna set this thing up how I like it. Uh, boom, boom. A little more of that, like that. SGT. All right, so I've got it on the SVT setting, and I've got the uh, grunt grit all the way down. So. play the same thing and then just click it on so
SGT. Um, now I'm gonna set the sucker up, put that on, and yeah, we're good. So. <laughs> to the cab sim so I'm gonna go factory um, the there's actually preloaded user settings as well so they're different than the factory settings but I haven't messed with them so but just looking at at the uh, stats in the app they're actually different than than the uh, uh, cabs that they give you they give you the 115 <clears throat> they give you a 410 HLF it's not the HE, it's the HLF. And then uh, the 810 flatback. So, anyways, um, yeah. Let's do it. So, here's the 115. And, oh, they have a uh, separate volume on here. And the light, there's a, a light right here. It shines green. It changes um, when you go factory. It's like purple, and when you're on, uh, or when you're on factory, it's blue. When you're on user, it's purple. And then it's, it's like off when you're off. Yeah, cab light off when it's off. All right, so here's one fifteen. set it all back flat so here's flat the 410 HLF
Now remember, I'm doing this flat, so all I'm doing is gain station. I think it saves every time you set it up. I'm not sure. So um, I know in the settings, as you were turning that dial, the uh, the volume on each of the settings was moving, and I think it saves like that. So uh, this is the 810, and this is all flat. So. Now I'm going to set them up. Let's go ultra low. We'll kick in the ultra highs. Bring up the treble. And add a little mid. So. Sound pretty good. need to drop about 200 clean that up a bit oh that sounds nice So that is SVT and an 810. Let's do the uh, 410. That sounds like it needs that 250 back. Sounds like it also needs the treble cut a little bit. Maybe not that much. But it does need a little high mid in it.
could live without the 410. It's kind of odd. Let's go uh, 115. Same thing, the SVT is on. This one's a little hot. actually Was a little clicky though. Let's add some 800 in there. I like 800. But you know what? This is the first time plugging into it, and I'm checking this all out. So, um, it's seeming like it's seeming like just like normal, um, everyday use. I don't like cab sims. I think I don't think they add anything. I think they only take it away. <laughs> you know what I mean? I really, I really believe that using a cab sim does nothing but take away from your signal, not add to it. But, you know, some people, some people love it. So it's, it's there for you to mess around with. You can load your own cab sims in there. It's got its own factories. And, um, if you know how to, uh, if you know a place to get, uh, IRs, you can load three of them and you can customize them any way you want in there. Um, what you can do is, uh, so they have the low cut and the high cut. So you put the shelves right and then you can adjust the level and it'll save the preset. So it's cool. It's cool. You know what I mean? It's something they've never done before. And uh, I think they did it in a good way. Instead of just giving you a factory cab sim that you turn it on or turn it off and that's it. Um, you're able to customize it and uh, any time, any way you want. So, you know what I mean? It's cool. But here's the, here's the 810 now without the SVT on there.
Yeah, so, like, in conclusion, let's, uh, well, let's turn the caps off, for one. All right, so, there's too much trouble. <laughs> All right, so, in conclusion, man, I think this thing's, like, pretty solid, man. I really do. <laughs> solid man you know I think I think some of the noise a little bit of the noise is the pedal I think it's more just my room I, you know I'm sitting in front of a power amp um, in my computer I got uh, LED lights on dimmers in here I think a lot of that buzz is is really just my environment Yeah, but you know, ultra high tweeters are noisy anyway. Uh, they they uh, that's how you hear that fuzz is on your high end. So normally, anyway. <laughs> is the pedal when I crank the high end there is a little bit of noise just a little bit I notice that because with my tone all the way off I know it, I know it ain't coming from my pickups so Yeah, there's no change with the ground lift on, so that's good. But I'm accentuating the frequencies that, you know, electricity likes to hide at. <laughs> You're bound to get a little bit of noise. It's all good. As soon as you start playing, you don't really notice it. Yep. All right, so that is it. Everything but the auxiliary. Um, what's cool it, about this one is the auxiliary comes through this output right here, right? So this is your, your line out. It's everything plus your auxiliary. So you, that's your like, that's your headphone jack, right? It's a quarter inch, it's a quarter inch jack. You can take that and run that into your amp or uh, PA or anything, right? And you can actually, let me uh, stop this because I'm done with that. All right. So they've solved the, the problem. They've solved the problem that heads have, right? So uh, heads with auxiliary inputs, they uh, usually cut off the speaker and you can only hear it through the headphone jack. Well, this sucker, actually shoots that auxiliary plug through an output that you can put into an amp or a PA, right? So you can plug into here and you can shoot it into the PA and uh, or your amp and you can amplify it and, and play to it. So you can stick like a drum machine in here, right? And the auxiliary and then uh, shoot it out into your amp and you can have drums playing on your on your cabinet, 
while you're playing bass. <laughs> you know what I mean? It, it's pretty cool. They kind of, they, they really thought about that one, man, because uh, there's a lot of times that people, I know me, myself, people want to just play with their cab, man. They don't want to have to have headphones on to hear what's uh, what they're trying to practice to. You know what I mean? They want to hear it through their cabinet. And um, they gave you a way to do that. <laughs> so, you know, kudos on that one. Um, as far as the cab sims goes, uh, I mean, they're cool. They're cool. Like I said, uh, they're cool because you can uh, load your own. You know what I mean? They give you three to play with, uh, just to have, right? But uh, if you uh, if you uh, if you like them, you know, you like them. Uh, they sound they sound decent. They they sound like cap sims. <laughs> you know what I mean? They sound like cap sims. But uh, if you uh, have your own that you like, man, and and you find you buy like let's say you buy a uh, like a Mesa Suite or something, right? Uh, IR pack and you you can load those in here you can do whatever you want to it too so it's it's a it's a whole user mode with with three presets that you can load on here and you can use those or you can tweak the factory ones in the uh, app which is really cool so uh, let me show you the app real quick let me load that up just real quick oh, I gotta put this thing in all right so it is loading. Oh, why am I doing that when I can just change? Go. Oh. So it's loading, right? So it's up. So here's the square back. Here's the FDF, and these are done with condensers. This one's done with a ribbon mic. So um, it tells you what it is, and then you've got you know bypass. You can turn them off. It's cool, and here's your users. To 112, to 210, and it's a 212 on the users already, you know. So they already set you up, you know, with a dynamic microphone, a 210 AV, and a 112 AV. They already set you up with six. All right. They already set you up with six. I didn't notice the names when I just looked at it. Right now is when I noticed it. I didn't notice them at all. But um, yeah, so they actually gave you six, right? But these ones you can uh, you can change out whatever you want. You can't change out the factory ones. Uh, they don't let you import. But um, yeah, so you've got a 115. You've got a 410 HLF. And you have the 810 flatback. And you also have... A uh, 112 AV with a ribbon mic. You've got a 210 AV with a condenser mic, and you've got a 212 AV with a dynamic mic. So, uh, yeah, you're loaded up with six of them. You know, it's pretty sick. <laughs> it's pretty sick, and um, you can do what you want with it, man. It's a really cool pedal. It's a really cool pedal. It sounds good. It handles like any input, man. It handles like any input and uh the only thing that clips is when you got the cab sim on that's the only thing that clips out <laughs> you know it's uh it's pretty cool dude it's pretty cool i like it um as far as uh just playing it into an amp uh, i ran my whole pedal board through it i had a uh, a double octave pedal i had a fast synth with a uh with a big muff and a wah, and I didn't make this thing fart at all. It handled everything, like perfect. You know, my amp my amp farted a little bit, I had to go turn the, the gain down. But the pedal sounded great out the output. You know, uh, XLR, what I noticed is uh, it's a little quiet, you know what I mean? But, you know, it's that, it's going to a board. You don't want it cranking loud, because you can turn up the board. You can turn up the board. You can turn up your gain on your interface. Like I got, I got it. Um, yeah. I've got it right there. You know what I mean. And um, the volume, I had it. You know, almost three quarters. So I would say like two o'clock on here. And then you've got your cab volume. So when you're distorting out your cab, uh, then you either turn it up or down from there and work it like that. You know what I mean. There's the there's a couple different gain knobs. Pretty much is what it is. And um, I like it, dude. Well, it's 36 minutes into this thing. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of a lot of stuff on this pedal. So, if you uh, stuck through it to the end, you know, high five. <laughs>
<laughs> and uh, if you breezed through it, then that's cool too, man. And if you just checked it and you didn't like it and you clicked away, fuck, dude, this still counts as a view for me, dog. <laughs> All right. Cheesy out. Stay funky, my friends. Late.